Let's take a look at these uh, formulas questions. They are all calculator questions apart from questions two and three. Question number one. Um, so Jimmy earns 11.20 for every hour he works. So if he works for seven hours, he's gonna earn 11 pounds 20 multiplied by seven. So on your calculator, just type in 11.2 or 11.20, multiply that by seven. Your calculator will give you the answer 78.4. Hopefully you can turn that into a price which is uh, £78.40p. and Question number two. No calculator for this one. If Nabila can pack three tins in a minute, in one hour, well one hour is 60 minutes, so that's 60 times three, that's 180. Question number three, we just need to assume that it's the same speed that he runs at. So if he does one kilometer in six minutes, then five kilometers is gonna be five times six minutes, which is 30 minutes. And for three B, it's simply eight times six, which is 48 minutes. Question number four, a shoulder of lamb takes 40 minutes per kilo and an extra 25 minutes added on top. So for 1.2 kilos of lamb, it's gonna be 1.2 multiplied by 40, and then add the 25 on top of that. 1.2 times 40 is 48. 48 plus 25 is 73 minutes. So the boat hire company charged 20 pounds just for stepping in the boat, and then three pounds 50 per hour. So for Maggie, it's gonna be the 20 pounds plus three lots of 350. 3 times 3.50 is £10.50. Add that on to the £20, that is £30.50p in total. Number six, there's an installation fee of 30, which is uh, completely unavoidable, and then 18 months at 24.50 per month. So on top of the 30, it's gonna be 18 lots of 24.50. 18 times 24.50 is 441, Add on the installation fee of 30, that comes to a grand total of 471 pounds. So question number seven, here it's cash back. So we're gonna work out the price and then deduct 50 pounds from it. So if it's 32 pounds per month, a 12 month contract is gonna be 12 lots of 32. 12 times 32 is 384. And then after the cash back, take away 50, that's gonna work out as 300 and um, 334 pounds. Question number eight. So the pick and mix is two pounds for the first 100 grams. And then for every other 100 grams is 80p. Now, uh, Dev is gonna buy 400 grams. So there's 100 grams. And then he's gonna have three lots of the 100 grams at 80p. So this part here comes to two pounds 40 plus the two. So in total, it's gonna cost him four pounds 40. If he's got a fiver, then yes, he does have enough money. He's got 60p left over. Question number nine. So the taxi driver charges two pounds 50 just for stepping inside the taxi and then one pound 20 per mile. So if Haroon is doing 4.6 miles, that's gonna be one pound 20 multiplied by 4.6. 120 times 4.6 is um, five pounds 52. So if we add the 250 to the five pound 52, that comes to a total of eight pounds and two P. If he pays with a 10 pound note, then 10 minus eight pounds two is one pound 98 change. Question number 10, we just need to substitute two in for A and B uh, and three in for B. Now seven AB squared means seven times A times B squared and B squared means B times B. So our calculation is seven times two times three times three. And if you type that into the calculator, you should end up with an answer of 126. Question 11, slightly different because we are squaring three A plus B. So what this means is, uh, well, first of all, let's work out 3a plus b. That means three times a plus b, which means three times three plus five. Three threes are nine, nine plus five is 14. So we've now got 14 squared, which means 14 times by 14, 
14 times 14 is 196. So we're using the formula, C is S divided by 10. So um, if S is the number of students, then here we're just dividing 60 by 10. So team captains will be simply six. Question number 13, we're using this formula here. The volume is one third A squared H. So what that means is one third times A times A times H, or alternatively A times A times H divided by three. So um, we have um, A is seven, so it's seven times seven times nine divided by three, and seven times seven times nine divided by three, that comes to 147. Question number 14. So the cost of hiring a car is 50 plus 10 times the number of days the car is hired for. So therefore, uh, the cost we'll say is C. Well, we've been told it's C is, so it's gonna be 50 plus 10 times the number of days. So that means 10 times D. So 50 plus 10D or 10D plus 50. So for seven days, we're just gonna use this formula. The cost is gonna be 50 plus 10D, which means 10 times D, 10 times seven. And 10 times seven is 70, so 50 plus 70, that comes to a total of 120 pounds. Question number 15, we've got a formula for converting Celsius into Fahrenheit. So either we're gonna convert 30 Celsius into Fahrenheit or I would definitely recommend that because this the formula is for uh, for Fahrenheit. So what we want is nine fifths of thirty plus thirty two. So nine fifths of thirty. This is a fraction of an amount. So we take our total, which is thirty, we divide it by five, and then multiply it by nine. Thirty divided by five is six. Six times nine is fifty four. So now we just need to add thirty two to fifty four, and that works out as 86 degrees Fahrenheit. So we can clearly see that Spain is hotter than France. Question number 16 looks quite confusing. There's a lot of numbers here, but V is the uh, average volume of water, which we're told is 6,000. So it's 6,000 divided by 1,000 plus 40. And then once we've worked that out, we're multiplying it by M, which is the number of months. And here the number of months is 12 because we're asked, we've been asked about um, the cash back in a year. And obviously there are 12 months in a year. 6,000 divided by 1,000 is six. Six plus 40 is 46. So the final calculation is 12 multiplied by 46. And that comes to a total of uh, 552. So therefore her cash back is gonna be 552 minus the 517. And that comes to a total of 35 pounds cash back.